We live our lives taking each second for granted. But what would you do if you knew how much time you had left? Unis Honus, One Year, was a YouTube channel that, much like all of you, had a limited amount of time. It was a channel made in collaboration between the YouTubers Ethan Nestor and Mark Fishbach, otherwise known as Crank Gameplays and Markiplier. The channel was created with a very simple premise in mind. The two would make videos every day for one whole year, starting on November 15th, 2019. These videos ranged from them making a sauna using their own urine, to attempting and most of the time failing DIY projects. And although prosperous, their continued collaboration would then promptly end the following year on November 15th, 2020. But there was a catch to this project. Not only would they stop making videos together for the Unis Honest channel once it reached its one year anniversary, but the channel itself would also cease to exist. Within their very first video titled Unis Honest, they left us with a promise. That they would delete the channel and everything on it in exactly one year. Game over. Bye bye. Finito. Finished. Curtains. Gone gone. Night night. Dead. Forever. Nothing to document it remaining, other than the shared memories from those who were there, and the merch. At the time of its death, Unus Anas had 4.5 million subscribers. And in the goodbye live stream where they deleted the channel live, they had over 1.5 million active watchers when they hit the delete button, and 12.3 million views for the lifetime of their 12-hour goodbye live stream. In addition to trending number one worldwide on Twitter for nearly an entire day, it was clear that this channel was something special. And yet, not many people seemed to understand why they were doing what they did. Why would you put so much effort into a channel only to have it willingly taken off the platform that housed it? And it wasn't like they were just making low effort videos to meet their daily quota either. There were some videos that had some stunning cinematography and high production quality. One of them was even a professionally narrated documentary. A documentary on a silly subject nevertheless, but it was still a very high quality video. They collaborated with a lot of people and did a lot of neat things like glass blowing and fire eating. So. Why delete it? Hours upon hours of work was put into this channel and it had made it big. Every video was amassing a million views at least, the merch site was crashing, truly something every influencer dreams of. But that's the thing that made Unis on a special. None of that mattered. Its success didn't matter. From the very start, Unis Honest was made with one goal in mind, and that was to spread its message. Memento Mori, remember death. You know, someone asked me a year ago why I was doing this, why we were making a channel and putting so much effort into it just to delete it. They didn't understand it. They couldn't understand it. They were like, it didn't make any sense. Why would someone put all that effort into something they were just going to get rid of? They were just going to throw away. And I said, it'll make sense when it ends. Quick disclaimer before we get into the meat of the video here. I'm going to be as respectful as possible to the original message of Unis Honest as I can while making this video. So this is less of a video explaining what the channel was and what they did on it, and more so explaining its message and analyzing the meaning behind it. For my video, I'm going to try and include clips only from videos that are still either up on Mark and Ethan's channels or are from the Markiplier Makes series, as I feel they're a pretty good substitute and have the same energy as the majority of the Unis Honest videos had. Mark and Ethan both have stated that they're fine if clips from the now deleted channel are still being used, so long as they're being used in a transformative way and not just being re-uploaded or archived. This video is transformative, so it isn't going against their final wish. If they have a problem with it, they're more than welcome to have someone contact me and I'll take it down. Where I do use actual clips, it'll only be if it's necessary for visual aid or evidence to assist in what I'm saying. For example, right now, where I show evidence of them saying they're okay with this type of video being made post-mortem. Listen, I, you know, I've said things about, like, deleting things afterwards. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about is our videos, our stuff. If you've made something or, or you have a screenshot, like, I get it, accept mm -hmm. it. I encourage people to embrace the message of Unis Honest and deleting things and letting things go because letting things go is important. But we are the ones that are dying. And, and just remember, guys, like, you can still make stuff about Unis Honest after mm -hmm. Unis Honest is over. It's not bad for you to do so. Remember it. It exists only in your memory after this channel ends, but it exists there. Mm -hmm. And you keep it going. You keep the light alive. And just because we're gone, 
doesn't mean that you have to forget about it. Unis Anas was something that was truly special, not just for me, but for millions of others. It became a daily routine for a lot of us, giving us some stability and routine in a year that had none. Between the frightening reality of massive layoffs due to the pandemic and the loneliness and fear that came with quarantine, the daily uploads were a light in the darkness. Even if only for 15 minutes a day, it was able to put a smile on our faces and leave us feeling slightly better than when we first hit that play button. And productivity-wise, it's been stated by both Mark and Ethan that it helped them escape a creative rut that they were in prior to its conception. Unis Honest didn't end because the creators were tired of it. Far from it. There were many ideas that they didn't get to do as stated in the video, all our video ideas that never happened, and they still come up with ideas even now that they can no longer do them. Hell, Mark's Del Monte drama even carried over to his main channel as recently as November 23rd, 2020. So no, the channel didn't end due to lack of passion or ideas. It ended because it was always meant to end. It served its purpose. If they continued to make videos, it would go against the very heart and soul that it was founded on. And upon live tweeting and talking about it on Twitter, that very reason was something that a lot of folks who were following me and others talking about it didn't seem to understand. So that brings us back to the question that I asked at the start of this video. Why delete everything? Why not just leave the channel up? Why not keep making content so long as you have ideas? And again, the answer is simple. Memento Mori. Memento Mori, the channel's slogan, is Latin for Remember Death or Remember You Will Die. And while morbid, death is and always has been center theme for the channel's very conception. The clock has been ticking since the very first video, and it never stopped counting down. So the clock starts now, but the choice is yours. Will you join us? To make sure that we always remembered that the channel had a limited amount of time, we were given both verbal and visual reminder at the start of every video. For every video, we were always met with the same clock, telling us exactly how much time we had left with the channel at the time that the video was released. The number was always accompanied by the Unis Honest chant, and while fun to recite along with, was always repeatedly telling us, one year, one year, one year. It was easy to get lost in the meaning with how catchy it had become and how numb we became to that standard introduction that I think a lot of us eventually began not to look at or pay attention to the numbers. Much like how we often don't notice time slipping by in our day-to-day -day lives. Even during the live stream, the clock was always counting down in the background. Throughout the life of the channel, there were many attempts to get it to stop by both the community and by Unis and Honest themselves at one point, but it was always destined to hit zero. Everything comes to an end, no matter if it's a person, show, or even a food brand. Death comes for us all, and no one lives forever. In attempts to further the message, Mark and Ethan created two characters specific to the channel, Unis and Honest. Ethan played the role of Unis, the character who represents the black of the spiral, and Mark played the role of Anus, the character who represented the white part of the spiral. If you're familiar with their channels, you would know that creating a character for a bit isn't new for either of these creators. Markiplier's best-known channel characters are perhaps Darkiplier and Wilfred Worfstash, who he has made multiple lore-heavy videos on. These videos include the A Date with Markiplier series, or more famously, the YouTube original interactive story, A Heist with Markiplier. For Crank Gameplays, an alter ego that he made for his channel would be Blank Gameplays, who first appeared in an episode of Reading Your Comments. YouTube alter egos in general aren't a new concept for the YouTube gaming community, or even communities outside of it, as even Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning create characters for gags, such as Damiel or Loretta and Retina. While Rhett and Link aren't YouTubers that belong under the gaming classification, the assertion still stands that this isn't an original concept for YouTubers to pursue creatively, at least on a very fundamental level. It allows the creative to share a story with their audience that goes beyond their normal video game commentary, weaving a deeper narrative that interests their viewers and keeps them invested long term. It also helps in getting influencers in these fields to stick out, since it's easy to get lost in a sea of other reactionaries and commentators playing the same games. You can only watch someone play the same single path game so many times before it gets old, so there's a lot of pressure for a sense of originality, which these egos allow more room for. Some of these alter egos even have extensive story and lore, Markiplier being the best example of this as I mentioned earlier. Believe it or not, he isn't just that funny guy from the e-meme that cries a lot, he actually makes pretty solid content as far as his originals. I highly encourage you to check out his non-gameplay videos if what I'm talking about interests you. 
What made Unis and Annas different from their contemporaries as alter egos was that they were characters made with a specific purpose and end goal. Unis and Annas were a part of Mark and Ethan that died along with their channel, literally and figuratively. And unlike Darkiplier or blank gameplays, they're characters that we're never going to see again. And while I could get into the lore of the channel, and trust me, as a member of the Unis Annas lore hunters, I could tell you there's a lot, I'll let MatPat handle that one in an episode of Film Theory. Instead, I want to talk about the life and death of Unis Annas in a symbolic sense. Now, it's been proven time and time again that Unis and Ethan and Annas and Mark are different entities on the channel. One in the same, but also different. In the Camp Unis Annas Saga video, How to Start a Fire Except Don't, Unis can be seen looking in on Mark about to kill Ethan to sacrifice him in order to make a fire. And in the Halloween video, The Truth of Unis Annas, there's an entire skit that only further proves that these are characters, not just Ethan and Mark. You can see the two entities talking to their counterparts through walkie-talkies until they appear on screen after taking Mark and Ethan's place. They acknowledge that they've swapped places in every single video leading up to the end of the livestream, lamenting about how they'll be dead soon so that laws won't apply to them, etc. And they also spend their final two weeks on the channel reflecting on their own morality and the year that they shared. And while this is a cool mystery to unravel narratively, I'm more interested in what these characters represent. And just as how simple the ending to the channel was, the answer to this is also simple as well. Ethan and I, we've been YouTubers a long time, so we've seen a lot of fan art, and it never ceases to amaze us the kinds of things that people make. The lengths that people will go to to give us a little part of themselves. And, and I think that that's important to remember. Whenever someone creates, they are putting a piece of themselves into the universe, into what they have made. They're putting what's inside them out into the world. When we ask for your time to watch the videos and be with us here at the end of the live stream, you're giving a piece of your life to us. And this year, in return, we gave a year of our life to you. And, and that's not an exaggeration. Ethan and I and all the people that worked on this channel we gave a year of our life to you, willingly. Whether you took it or not, or whether you were here the whole time, that was a year of our life. We don't have an unlimited number of those, but we did it gladly. We gave a piece of ourselves, and we put it out there, and we are ending it. So, if Unis and Annas are more than just characters meant to enhance the overall experience and further keep people entertained, then what is their meaning? Well, I believe that Unis and Annas represent a time in Mark and Ethan's YouTube career. It's as simple as that. While other alter egos seem to differ from their source, Unis and Annas seem largely the same as Mark and Ethan. So while they aren't the same in terms of the channel lore, they are very similar. They talk a lot about how they gave up a year of their lives to make Unis Annas in the livestream, and that's what puts all of this into perspective. Mark and Ethan gave up a year of their lives to make content for Unis Annas that they'll never get back. And it's not saying that they regret doing so, because it's clear that they didn't and that they don't. They experienced so many things and impacted so many lives within the span of only one year. But it really puts into perspective just how precious time is. When you're a creator, you're giving a part of yourself to your viewer or consumer. An artist who makes a painting gave their time to that painting. A chef is giving their time to the food that they make. A cashier is giving their time to all the Karens they have to deal with in the checkout line. You are literally giving a part of your life to your work. Your clock is ticking down with whatever you do, and whatever you do, you're giving up a part of yourself to it. I, right now, by writing this script and editing this video, am giving a part of myself to you. You, by watching this video, you're giving a part of yourself to me. And I know it sounds dramatic, but it is true, isn't it? We all have a set amount of time on this earth, and you cannot get back time that you spend doing other things. And Mark and Ethan, they can't get the year back that they spent working on this channel. They gave it to us, and we gave some of our time to them by joining them for that one year that their channel existed. That's why Unis and Annas were separate characters from the actual people who played them. That's why when the channel died, so did they. Because the time they spent on that channel was gone, and there was no way of getting them back. Part of them did die when it was deleted, because that part of their life ended. 
And while I'm sure from a lore perspective, their story as characters is much more convoluted, that's what it comes down to. They put a part of themselves into that channel, and it's part of themselves that they'll never get back. And that was symbolic of the characters dying along with the channel. They were the same people as their creators, but also different. They were a part of the people who gave up a part of themselves to make content for others to view and experience. And that's who they were and what they represented. Parts of the past that now only live on in memory. And while it's very literal for them, this is something we all experience. Parts of our lives come to an end all the time. We, just like the channel, have our own chapters or sagas that we go through. It's just different. The high school saga, the college saga, the first relationship saga, the first job saga. These things end. These versions of ourselves end. And the only way that they live on is through ours and others' memories. And that also feeds into the broader narrative of the channel itself. So many people have asked what the point of deleting it was, especially when other people could simply download and re-upload the videos. And while yes, that certainly is true, copies of the videos will always exist somewhere, it won't be the same to view them post-mortem. Unus Honest wasn't just a channel, it was an experience. Enjoying it, knowing that one day, yes, it's going to end, but enjoying it despite that, not constantly hyper-fixating on the end or what to do after the fact. Those who are watching the archived footage won't have the same experience that those watching it live did. They'll be watching it with the knowledge that it already ended and so it won't even remotely be the same. When those who were there watched the channel, we watched it knowing that the end was coming. And it's much harder to enjoy these things when you know they're about to end than it is enjoying it after it already ended. For example, it's much easier for me to look back on memories of the channel right now than it was for me to watch the live stream in anticipation. Think about it this way, and I know it's morbid, but hear me out. Your first family pet is getting old, and you can see their age starting to affect their quality of life. Your vet has told you that there isn't much you can do, it's just how aging is. You know that if Mother Nature doesn't take them from you, you're going to need to do the kindest thing you can do for them by putting them to sleep. Do you enjoy the time that you have left with your pet, or do you spend every waking second as the clock ticks down agonizing about what you'll do once it's over? I'm sure many people get hung up on the what's and how's, and I know that I certainly did when I needed to make that decision. But there comes a point where you can't waste time being afraid of what you're going to do after. You need to keep living up until it happens and then decide what you're going to do then. And it's hard, not everyone can do that. And the channel being deleted and ending is a far less serious situation, of course, but it rings true experience-wise. As someone who has gone through the previously mentioned situation before, this felt very similar. You're having fun enjoying the time you have, but the clock is only ticking louder and louder the closer it gets to hitting zero. And it's very easy to use your remaining time worrying and being upset than it is to use it making more good memories to have after it's over. And it's scary, yes but no amount of fear is going to slow the clock down or stop it from ticking. So do you spend your time being happy or do you spend your time being afraid? And not only is it a good lesson on not wasting time when enjoying things that will eventually end, it's also helped put into perspective how little time each of us as individuals have. Unis Anas, both the channel and the goodbye livestream went by so quickly. I took the day off to watch the entire 12 hour livestream and it didn't feel like 12 hours. It felt like maybe one or two and I had whiplash from how quickly it went by. That's the same with all of our lives. If you blink, it'll be gone in an instant. One year may seem like a lot on paper, but in reality, it isn't. And on average, we each only have about 79 of those. And again, that seems like a lot. But the Earth is 4.543 billion years old, and we're nothing more than a millisecond compared to that. Probably less, like Ethan, I'm not that good at math. All I know is that I sure as hell don't know how I'm already 23 years old, because it seems like just yesterday I was 18 graduating high school. It goes by quick, and I feel for a lot of us, Unis Anas kind of put into perspective just how quickly that time goes by. That's what we've been saying since the beginning, is choose to spend your time wisely, yeah. and don't take any second for granted, because whether you like it or not, it's going to be taken from you. Yeah. You do not have a choice. That is just life. There is no push reset on Unis Anas. <laughs> there is no push reset on life. You have to make every second worth it. 
If Mark and Ethan didn't delete the channel, I don't feel it would have had the same effect as it did. If you were able to go back and watch their old videos, it would still give the illusion that it was there. You would still be experiencing it somewhat since you were viewing it from the source and reading the comments of those who watched it when it first came out. With them deleting the channel, that's them saying, no, this is it. You got to experience this thing for a year, but that year is over and now it's gone. Just like everything eventually will end, this has ended. And that's powerful. It really is. I know that people will make fun of others for getting emotional over the channel where people drank pee and cooked with sex toys or whatever, and I get it. If you weren't there to experience it, I'm well aware that this looks silly. And even if you were there to experience it and you still don't get it, that's also fine. Everyone experiences things differently, and that's the beauty of life. It's just like how I won't shame people for watching archived footage. I know that people are curious, and I know that these videos were a comfort to people in dark times. I do understand, and I'm not going to shame anyone for it, even if I personally am not going to watch them. That being said, I do think it's undeniable that watching the videos while they were still around versus watching them now will feel incredibly different. Even going through footage to edit this video feels different. So why was Unis Honest deleted? Memento Mori, remember death. Remember that one day you will die, but also remember to keep living. Remember even though you cannot stop the clock from ticking, you can control what you do with the time you have left. Every second that goes by is every second you're consciously choosing to spend on whatever it is that you're doing now. Mark and Ethan, or rather, Unis and Anas, spent every second wisely. They had only a year, but think back to all the things that they did in just that time. And if you can't because this is the first time you're hearing of them, take a moment to look back and think of what you did this year. What you experienced. The things you learned the things you accomplished or maybe were working towards. Even if you couldn't do much because it's 2020 and the state of the world prevented you from doing everything you wanted, you've been through a lot this year. I know it doesn't seem like it or feel like it, but the world has been through a lot this year. 2020 sure didn't waste a second that it had. Did you? Just from personal reflection, the Unis Honest experience for me was powerful. As a content creator, I've dealt with a lot of the feelings both Mark and Ethan expressed they felt creatively. It's why I haven't uploaded much this year, despite it being a prosperous time for my channel overall. I reached 100,000 subscribers not too long ago, and viewership-wise, I'm at an all-time high in terms of averages. But you really do give a part of yourself when making content, and this and last year especially, I felt that. And while it's hard to push through, it's also humbling in a way. It puts into perspective just how much time you have left and how much time you have to make an impact. I love what I do, but for a long time it felt more like a weight on my chest than anything else. Like I just wasn't enjoying it as much anymore. And while I do still feel that to an extent, I think that the channel itself made that weight lighter. There's a lot of factors that I can still feel holding me back, but I do think that creatively, they've inspired me to reach out and try harder to keep going, not to waste a second and to make every moment count. They made content every day for an entire year, and they had so much fun doing it. People loved what they did, they really did. If you put yourself out there, there's nothing stopping you from doing the same. And that's incredibly inspiring to someone who also makes content for a living, and it's made me appreciate my audience that much more. I'm sure that many of you who have also experienced the channel have your own stories, and I'd love to read about them in the comments below. Tell me and the others watching this video what Unis Anas meant to you and what you got from it, if anything. Comment including the hashtag MementoMortoy. Remember the dead. Because even though we may not get another video and experience the anticipation that comes along with it, it will forever live on in our memories for as long as we allow it to. And like Unis Anas and any creator on YouTube, my channel is only temporary as well. One day, I will stop making videos. Though unlike this case, I don't know when its clock will stop. So while we cannot see it, the clock is ticking. But the choice is yours. Will you join me, or will you miss out on your chance to experience this channel while it's still alive? Time is already running out. The train is already moving. So subscribe now, because death is coming. We may not know when, but it will. Memento Mori. I'll see you in the next video. Vivera Ruinas.
starts now but the choice is yours will you join Say goodbye. Memento Mori.